Hi folks, I'm June with episode 3 of Nibbles and Mouse Bites. In this relatively short episode, we're going to cover the 6502's comparison instructions. There's relatively few of these instructions, but they're quite versatile. Okay, let's get to it! The first instruction in our set of three is the CMP, or Compare, instruction. Effectively, the instruction compares whatever is in A to the operand that we specify. When the operation is done, the value in A is effectively subtracted by the operand, and then the flags in the status register are adjusted to match. So what happens to the status bits? If A was greater than or equal to the operand, the carry bit is set. If A is equal to the operand, the zero bit is set. And finally, if A minus the operand produces a negative number, the negative bit is set. Note that the original values in A and the operand are left alone. Like the LDA instruction, this instruction has eight different addressing modes and is designed to work with the accumulator. The CMP instruction also has two paired instructions for X and Y. The first of these is CPX. This does exactly the same job as CMP, but instead of comparing the accumulator, it compares X. It also only supports the immediate, zero page, and absolute addressing modes. The other instruction is CPY. This is a mirror of CPX and behaves the same way, except it compares against Y instead of X. Now that we know what the compare instructions do, let's see them in action. Let's write a program that changes the color of the border based upon which raster line the VIC is currently drawing. We'll make the border draw a cyan bar cascading down the screen, creating an effect called a raster bar. We can accomplish this by changing the border color when the VIC reports it is between certain raster line numbers as shown here. The first thing our program has to do is disable interrupts and initialize our registers. We disable interrupts because we're going to pull the VIC and interrupts will slow our program down and make the effect less stable. At the top of our loop, we set the border color to zero. Once that's done, we compare the VIC's current raster line to the value in X, starting with hex 30. If the value in X is not equal to the current raster line, we do the comparison again. This stops the CPU until the VIC hits the top of the area that we want to start drawing the bar in. When the VIC is drawing the start line of our bar, we change the border color to cyan, and then start waiting until the VIC has reached the bottom of our bar, ending at hex 40. Finally, we increment X and Y so we can move the bar down the screen, and restart our loop. Okay, let's see this in action. And there you have it. Bear in mind, the method I've used here is not the most stable or correct, but it is the simplest method to achieve the effect with our new instructions. And with that, we're pretty much done with the comparison instructions. For the next Nibbles and Mouse Bites episode, we'll focus on the branching instructions. But before I go, I'd like to give a shout out to all of my patrons. Chris James, Stran Dakik, Brian Wanda, Some Dude, Matthew Schultz, Patrick D. Ashmore, Symbiance. You're all amazing! You keep me inspired and engaged, and I hope that the series is up to your expectations. Thank you so much! And with that, see you in the next episode!